I'm not a certified firearm safety instructor. And neither this video nor the article at Survival News Online is a substitute for getting individualized firearm safety instruction from a certified trainer. However, I have been trained and I've learned a lot over the years and I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. A lot of people say that the number one rule of safe gun handling is to always treat the weapon as if it were loaded. But that's not really a rule. That's more of, of a conclusion based on an overarching principle. We need to adopt the awareness that this object is deadly. This fundamental principle means that you have to treat this object differently than you do others in your experience. If you make a mistake on your computer on Facebook, you might embarrass your friend. But if you make a mistake with this, you might kill him. Nothing you ever do with the gun should be accidental or unconscious. Everything you do with the gun should always be based on deliberation, intent. Everything you do with the gun should be on purpose. This fundamental principle is context for the application of the three rules of gun safety from the NRA. We should respect the rules of safety that have been developed by the NRA. They've got over 140 years experience advocating firearm safety. So let's look at the number one rule. The first rule of gun safety is always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. What's a safe direction? Well, a safe direction is determined by common sense based on the circumstances. So basically you need to always know where other people are in relation to you and you need to maintain constant muzzle awareness and control. You cannot ever be sloppy or clumsy with the gun. You must always be careful that you never cover other people, like the cameraman, or yourself. Never cover yourself, that is, never point the muzzle at anybody or yourself. If the gun is always pointed in a safe direction, then if you make any mistake with the other rules, nobody gets hurt. You might be embarrassed if you have an accidental discharge, but if the gun was pointed in a safe direction when you accidentally discharge it, nobody gets hurt. So the number one rule of gun safety is always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. The number two rule of gun safety is always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So whenever you pick up the gun, set it down, holster it, unholster it, empty the magazine, whatever you do with the gun, you are always keeping your finger, consciously keeping your finger off the trigger. You can rest it along the frame, or you can rest it at the end of the trigger guard, but just keep it off the trigger at all times until you're ready to shoot. Now you are not ready to shoot the gun until you have identified a target, determined other subjects of possible collateral damage in the line of fire, and decided to take the shot. Only then are you ready to put your finger on the trigger and pull it? Now sometimes you wanna see what the gun feels like if you're gonna pull the trigger, you wanna see what the trigger feels like. Well, you have to treat it in that case just as if you were going after a target. So you deliberately take aim, you identify a safe target. Even if you know the gun is empty, just as a matter of practice, you keep it pointed in a safe direction. You identify a target, make sure there's nobody in the line of fire, and then only once you have decided to pull the trigger. The NRA's number three rule of gun handling safety is to keep the gun unloaded until ready to use. So if you're storing the gun, make sure it's unloaded. If you're ready to use it, that is you're about to shoot it or you're about to holster it to carry for your personal protection, then you can load the gun. To apply this rule, it requires you to clear the gun every time you pick it up. Every gun is different, and you need to know how the particular gun you have operates before you can safely clear it. So this is a semi-automatic, and the first thing I'm gonna do is clear it. Now that I've picked it up, I'm gonna release the magazine, take it out, keep it pointed in a safe direction, pull the slide back, and visually check to confirm that there is no round 
either in the chamber or in the magazine well. Now it's clear. I'm aware of the arguments for and against keeping a round chambered in the gun when you're carrying it for personal protection. There is an argument to be made that you need to do that in order to quickly be able to defend yourself or other innocent people in your charge. I think there's also a reasonable argument to be made for keeping the gun unloaded even when you're carrying it for personal protection. I have children and I often interact with other people who don't know much about guns. In some situations, I keep my gun unloaded. There is nothing in the chamber. In a situation where I might have to defend myself, my first objective in any case is to get myself and those in my charge to cover. And once we're safe, then I'm gonna pull my gun, pull the slide, load around in the chamber, and be ready to, to defend myself. So there are circumstances, I think, where it's reasonable to carry the gun for your own protection, even without a round in the chamber. There's an argument to be made in either case, and you need to make the decision for yourself. Remember, I'm not a certified firearm safety instructor, but even if I were, you can't do this by video or by article, because you've got to bring the gun that you're gonna carry and get individualized instruction with your gun in person from a certified instructor. So, don't use this video or the article as a substitute for individualized training. Be sure and go to the blog where I'll have a link in the article about gun safety to where you can schedule your own individualized training from a certified instructor. I'll see you at the blog.